it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be, I didn't think it would be as pokey as it is, as, you know, as talky and pulled off up the hill. A couple of times I managed to get it in fifth and thought, excellent, we can go on for days. It felt like there was a lot, it, it's got a lot. It looks like a gold star. Yeah, the exhaust, the tank, the, the badge on the side there, the fact that the dials are go that way as opposed to that way. First thing I noticed, the only trouble is that the one in the middle is small. I think most of us rode for quite a long time with the indicators on because it's so small you just can't see them flashing. So the oil tank doesn't have an external fill, you have to pull the case off to get to it. So if you can't see it, you're not going to worry about it. You're not going to check it, possibly. Probably somewhere between the two, I would think. Yeah, you've got the power of a twin, but possibly the noise of a single. Or that, but it's not too, it's not overly noisy. It's good, it's a good thump, 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 it's good. I did find if it was when we were on one of the, the sort of slopey bits, it's a long way down to put it on the stand. If you're on a incline that side, that's a, it's a long way down to put it down. So you're gonna end up sort of padding and you won't catch it. It's heavy enough that you, I don't think you'll catch it if it goes too far, but it is a 650, so it's gonna be heavy. But just taking it off the stand and riding it, no problem at all. It's good at slow speed. So I think it'll keep up with sort of motorway, dual carriageway traffic and the same in town. I think it'll be, I think it's a pretty good all round bike. And so far, I think it'll be comfortable as well. I think you could do quite a lot of miles and this one's got all the panniers on it. I think you could do quite a lot of miles and not end up with sore bums and arms. And, but I think, yeah, no, I think it'll do a good all round job. Uh, there was a couple of occasions when I went up the hill in the wrong gear and I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> and I had to change it. So it struggled. It, it was steep, though, really steep, and it struggled. But um, I think it pull away. I, I don't think you could pull away from a junction in top gear. I don't think you could, like you can with the old stuff. You can just sort of ride the clutch a bit and it'll, off it'll go. But I don't think you could do it maybe second or third, but I think any more than that and you'll, be, you'll struggle. I think it will be for the old guys who wanted them as when they were younger, couldn't for whatever reason have them, but now they can. And they can put it in the shed and come back to it in a year's time, maybe a trickle charger, turn the ignition on, press a button and off they go. There'll be no fettling with the carbs or the tray underneath to catch the oil and having to kick start it and the starting procedure. <laughs> so I think that's, I don't know about the younger, the younger market. I don't know whether they will possibly, I, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think they'll be led by their peers and it's not got enough plastic on it. <laughs> as soon as you got on it, as soon as you get on it, you just sort of jiffle about a bit and yeah. I didn't find it, I didn't find myself jiffling too much to get comfortable. The good thing is, being female, we're not always very tall. It's not, this isn't too tall. Low seat height. Yeah, low seat height, yeah. So you're not, I mean, I've got built up boots on, so I've got sli a slightly higher instep on mine. So I've got a little bit extra in case I need it, but I don't, it's not, the weight's not all at the bottom. So it's trying to tip you over or anything. It's, I, no, I think it's a good, good all round bike. I think it'll do very well. And this, 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 Oh, oh, don't, it's just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I would say, I would say it's a, a comparison, yeah. Because you go from the 350, sort of if you pass your test from the 350, I think you'll soon run out of power on the 350 because it's just, because it's a 350. And then what can I have next? It'll be this or interceptor, I would think. But this is just a little, a little bit, bit more refined. So this is the top one and it's 7,000 pounds. You've then got um, 
not shiny silver, just sort of a satin silver, black and red and white, which is 6,800, and the really glorious sort of greeny blue, six and a half grand. That's, that's mega. Six and a half thousand pounds for, for it. It's, it's, it's good value. Yeah, it is, definitely, yeah. No, I really like it. I've, I think they've done a really good job, really good job 